Hello, graduates of 2020. You have the distinction of being CSM's first virtual graduation class. And while we will miss the in-person celebration, our congratulations are no less sincere for being virtual. I appreciate being part of your graduation ceremony today, and I promise to keep my remarks brief. Despite the challenge of shifting gears in managing a whole new way of living over the last two months, you have done it. And I suspect you've learned a few things along the way. My message today is about learning, but it's not advice. Rather, I wanna to talk to you about what the neuroplasticity of the hippocampus of the black-capped chickadee has to do with learning. Chickadees, common enough among songbirds, but among the cutest and chattiest of them, have an amazing ability to remember things. Yep, little birds that weigh less than half an ounce remember things, and in the remembering, they grow their brains. How many of you had psychology? You remember learning about structures of the brain, right? You remember the hippocampus? It's behind the prefrontal cortex, that region that manages self-control and other executive functions, and it's in front of the cerebellum, the area that controls motor movements. The hippocampus, the structure of the hippocampus, supports learning and memory. It's an amazing structure, but I warrant it's particularly amazing in a half-ounce chickadee. These birds hide their food in order to have it available in times of low supply. They can remember their food caches up to several months later and never, never hide their food in the same cache. So what you say? Well, here's the so what. They can remember up to 100,000 caches a season, 100,000. Some of us can't even remember where we put our keys in the morning but the half ounce chickadee can remember 100,000 food caches. How? They grow their hippocampus. Yep, when the lean season comes, their hippocampus grows. That's the neuroplasticity part. These memory cells grow and help them in this remarkable memory feat. Further studies show that chickadees held in captivity lose the ability to grow their brains. And in fact, when they are reintroduced to the wild, have an extremely difficult time remembering their food caches. So their very survival depends on their ability to keep their hippocampus plastic. So this is where you might be rolling your eyes and ask, what does this have to do with me and with learning? But wait, you're college graduates. You understand metaphor. You've had English. But if a chickadee really no bigger than a thumb can remember a hundred thousand hiding places for its food and can grow its brain as a consequence in one season. Just imagine what you can do. So be like the chickadee. Use every opportunity to grow your brains. Your very survival will depend on it. And never, never stop learning. Never stop learning. Our learning does not stop the moment we complete college. It is often said that life is a journey, not a destination. Learning is also a journey, not a destination. While I was a college student myself many years ago, I began a very important journey about learning about myself. It was during that time where I started defining myself by what I could do, not what I couldn't. I started seeing my life as a series of possibilities that would require a lot of learning, some in formal settings like the classroom and some in informal settings like talking with a friend, writing in a journal, or trying a new hobby. My personal journey has had great success, but it has not been without some difficult challenges. To overcome such challenges, I needed to be able to keep learning and reinventing myself to face those situations. In my own classroom, I talked to students about the difference between hearing and listening. I explained that while hearing is a physiological process, listening requires active participation to understand the message. Education and learning can similarly be compared to one another. Education is often seen as a formal process where an individual teaches us, whereas Learning is a process in which we understand things ourselves through our own experience. 
While education teaches us how to survive in this competitive world, learning helps us to accomplish the most important thing which we all seek in our lives, and that is happiness. There is a saying, if you're not growing, then you are dying. I would continue that thought by saying, if you're not learning, you're not really living. Now that you're graduating from CSM, some of you might be finished with your structured classroom learning. Others of you will co continue by going on to pursue four-year degrees and perhaps beyond. But for all of you, the learning that you seek out on your own, beyond the classroom and throughout your life will be the most important work you ever do for yourself. In recognition of your scholarly achievement, we, the faculty and staff at CSM, salute you and wish you Godspeed. We salute you. Congratulations. Best wishes, we salute you. Congratulations to you all and especially to our nursing graduates. I'll take my head up to you. We salute you. Congratulations to my daughter, Katherine Cadwallader, and to all the graduates of CSM Class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates. Hats off to you. We, the faculty, salute you and celebrate you. Woohoo! We salute you, especially all those nursing students out there. We salute you. You're the reason that we do what we do, and we are mightily proud of you and your achievements. Best of luck, CSM Class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates of 2020. Congratulations, you did it. We salute you. I tip my hat to you, and I wish you luck for the places you will go and good luck in the future. Congratulations. Class of 2020, we salute you. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I wish you all the best. And I tip my hat to you and salute. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hats off to you. On behalf of Campus Operations and the scheduling team, congratulations. Congratulations, CSM graduates. Congratulations, graduates of 2020. Congratulations. No bones about it, you did great. Class of 2020, we salute you. Congratulations, MLT graduates and the class of 2020. We're so proud of you. You are CSM strong. We salute you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Graduados de CSM del 2020. Buena suerte, cuídense y enhorabuena. Congratulations, Hawks. I knew you could do it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, seniors, and good luck in the future. Congratulations, and we salute you. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you. Hats off to you. Woo! Good luck and Godspeed. Congratulations, graduates, and hats off to you guys. Wow. Hats off. Congratulations. Congratulations.